Today we're talking about the maintenance and removal of the hydraulic system on the 620-120 grinder. So the first thing you want to do before you start this procedure is get your tools and everything that you're going to need set up. You're going to need part number 546-950, which is the replacement hydraulic kit. You're going to need hydraulic fluid. You're going to need a long blade screwdriver that's going to become very helpful, an adjustable set of pliers, a rubber mallet, snap ring removal tools, and a set of Allen wrenches. The first thing you're going to do when you go to perform this procedure is you're going to tilt the grinder head all the way up, take your adjustable pliers to remove the hydraulic system from the vise assembly. Sometimes this can be pretty hard, difficult to do, so it's going to take a little, a little bit of muscle work to get it out. Once you have this removed, go ahead and remove the entire vise assembly. With the vise assembly removed, you now have all access to the rest of the hydraulic system. This will help you a lot when you go to reinstall everything. Remove the dust cover off the hydraulic cylinder. Using your long blade screwdriver, place it behind the hydraulic cylinder and the location that pinches and holds it in place. Then take your adjustable pliers, grab that hydraulic cylinder, and pull that system right out. Once the bottom is now free, you're now going to need to remove the circlips on the pin at the top of the hydraulic cylinder. You only need to remove one circlip. With that one circlip removed, you can remove the entire pin that holds that whole piece in place. Using your circlip pliers, go ahead and grab that first circlip. This can be really tricky. And so sometimes it's actually easier to grab a small screwdriver to stick in the circlip to move it just enough to pull it apart. Once you've taken your circlip off, keep in mind these are small tiny parts and they don't come with the new cylinders do not come with replacements so don't lose them. Set them somewhere safe. Remove the pin. Now your old leaky hydraulic system is ready to be removed. Go ahead and set that aside. Keep that pin you just took out in a, in a safe location so you don't lose it. Your new hydraulic assembly kit comes with everything you need to install the new hydraulic assembly. It'll have the hose and the pump. It'll have the piston for the vise. It comes with a new clamp and bolt to secure it with. This is there just in case the uh, old version got damaged when you were taking it apart. It comes with three sealable washers. It comes with <clears throat> the banjo style bolt. And it comes with the, the bolt to seal the banjo, banjo bolt with. So when we go to start the replacement, the first thing we're going to want to do is grab that banjo bolt, throw on one of our washers, slide it through the hydraulic assembly, place another washer on, get your hydraulic piston, hand tighten it, Grab that third sealable washer and put it on that little tiny bolt there and hand tighten that into, into place. Now your entire hydraulic assembly is assembled. For installation purposes, you're going to want to remove that piston all the way out and set it aside temporarily. The hydraulic assembly does not come with hydraulic oil installed. That's why we have our hydraulic oil sitting here beside us so we can bleed the system once everything is installed on the machine. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to mount the hydraulic assembly onto the grinder head itself. The old rod that we took out now gets put back into place. So you slide the cylinder 
back in, replacing the rod. You grab your circ clip that you hopefully didn't lose. You spread it apart, okay, reinstall the circlip. Now that's all, that's, that's nice, it's all hooked up correctly. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your adjustable pliers, grab a hold of that hydraulic cylinder, get things kind of positioned the way you want them for when you have you assemble the vise back on there. This is a good time that you're probably going to have to lower the head to get the hydraulic cylinder down enough to fit into that clamp. Get one side attached. Keep moving that until it clicks into place. Just like that. Well, one thing to keep in mind once you, once you get this all done is that this is a new hydraulic cylinder, so it hasn't been broken in. So your head is not always gonna come all the way back up when it's got it full of fluid. It has to have a little bit of break in time. <clears throat> okay. Now you're ready to bleed the system. Do a real quick double check to make sure all your connections are tight. That four millimeter Allen wrench will tighten down the top of the banjo bolt. And you can use a uh, four millimeter wrench to tighten the banjo, banjo bolt down. Once you've got the hydraulic assembl assembly attached, all your bolts have been tightened down. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, apply loop hydraulic oil to the system because it comes empty. You'll need to hold that hydraulic piston above the top of the hydraulic cylinder in order for the air bubbles to come out pro appropriately. So take your hydraulic oil, fill up your piston, keep that hydraulic oil handy because the level is going to go down and you need to keep filling it up until all of the air bubbles have been pumped out of the entire system. Raise and lower that head a full stroke. And you'll see the air bubbles come out. You want to keep doing this until there are no bubbles coming out of that hydraulic cylinder anymore. Once there's no bubbles, you know that the hydraulic fluid is full in the entire system. This could take a little while. Take your time, make sure all the bubbles have been removed. Just keep pumping that handle and keep watching the, watching the hydraulic oil inside the piston until there's no bubbles appearing anymore. Once there's no bubbles, it's time to reassemble the piston. Screw the, screw the piston and assembly back into the hydraulic system. You notice that a little oil overflowed out because we want to make sure there's an ex a little bit of an excess to make sure that the whole system is full when we're done assembling. You'll also notice that the piston is up. So we want to try and push that down so when we put it back in our vise assembly, it actually fits. Reassemble the hydraulic assist piston, making sure that this piston is pushed all the way down. You can go, this is all sealed, so you can go ahead and let that hang. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is reassemble your base, your vice assembly. Okay. <clears throat> now on the piston, a part of the piston actually clamps into place on the vice assembly. So this needs to be snug when you set it on here. And when you set it on here, you'll notice right away if you've had that clamping piston far enough in. If it's not pushed far enough in, 
use a hard surface of some sort, I'm going to use my adjustable wrench. And I'm going to make sure that piston is pushed in as far as it'll go. And I mentioned you want to make sure that this is kind of snug. Right now it's, kind of, it's pretty loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this out just a little bit. You notice how it's looser now. So let's turn it back in. About a half a turn, give or take a little tiny bit. And you notice it's pretty snug. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit. Loosen it a little bit more. That's too much. I like it right there. Now you're going to use a wooden mallet or a rubber mallet or a hard plastic mallet. Raise your head up all the way and use that mallet to gently but firmly tap that piston all the way back down into place. It's nice and snug and tight. Everything's good. Give it a couple pumps. You can watch the action right here to see if that vise is opening and closing. You can see that it is. So you have that new hydraulic cylinder. You've bled it. All the bubbles are out. It works. It, everything functions right. The last thing you're going to want to do is remember to put that dust cover back on. It just snaps into place. That dust cover is pretty important. It keeps all of the debris from the grinding off of the hydraulic cylinder, which would mean the seals on that hydraulic cylinder will actually last longer. For further information about Oregon products, please go to OregonProducts.com.